If it looks like suicidal thoughts and acts like suicidal thoughts, when is the time that we are not in danger? Suicide and self-harm obsessions are symptoms of FCD where a person becomes obsessed with thoughts about self-harm and suicide. However, these thoughts are intrusive and cause them to be very anxious because the person does not want to commit suicide or self-harm. This video will discuss the time where suicidal thoughts are not dangerous. This may surprise you, but it's very normal for people to experience intrusive thoughts, even about suicide. Even healthy people, without mental illness, experience thoughts of suicide. The way we judge whether or not a thought is dangerous is to judge the intensity. If someone gets a fleeting thought of wanting to die, then it's much safer than if a person was purposely thinking about suicide. When someone has suicide OCD obsessions, they get intrusive thoughts about suicide and self-harm that they do not want to act out. However, these thoughts are not fleeting. The person with OCD will obsess for long amounts of time about these thoughts, wondering if they mean something, if they'll do them, and how they get rid of them. Some examples of suicide obsessions are fear of committing suicide in the absence of a desire to do so, fear of becoming depressed and then feeling compelled to commit suicide, fear of jumping off a building or another high place, fear of stepping out into oncoming traffic and being hit by a car, fear of jumping in front of an oncoming train or subway, fear of sticking your head in a hot oven, fear of putting your hand in a blender and turning it on, fear of grabbing a hold of a hot pan or stove burner, and fear of driving off bridges or intentionally crashing head-on into other vehicles. These thoughts could come into the sufferer's mind at any time or be triggered by a certain place, person, object, or anything of that sort. This could lead to the sufferer avoiding things that they once loved. These thoughts could be manifested as words like, I want to die, or what if I hang myself with this rope? Or they could be manifested as images of the person committing suicide or self-harming. People often follow up thinking these thoughts by various means of rumination, including saying things like, what if I secretly want to act on these thoughts? Although fears around these obsessions can be different for everyone, one person might be afraid they'll act on the thought, and another person might just feel guilty for having them. The compulsions for these types of thoughts are very similar to the compulsions for regular harm thoughts, so I will put the link to my harm thoughts video in the description and in the end screen so you guys can go check that out if you want more information on harm OCD. It's hard to discern whether a person with OCD is suicidal or actually having suicidal obsessions because OCD causes incredible uncertainty and doubt. Trying to find out whether or not they're actually suicidal is often very hard for the person and can turn into a mental checking ritual, which only makes OCD worse in the long run. It's also hard to discern whether or not it's OCD because people with OCD often have comorbid depression, meaning they could have suicidal obsessions and also be suicidal. A way to find out whether or not it's OCD is to see the emotions behind the thoughts. OCD obsessions about suicide may cause a person to feel anxious and fearful, while when they have a suicidal thought, they may feel more depressed and hopeless. If you are experiencing any sort of repetitive suicidal thoughts, please talk to a mental health professional so they can help you with the proper treatment. If you know you want to commit suicide, please check the description of this video, where I will put hotlines and chat rooms and other helpful resources. Suicide is always a serious topic, but I knew I had to make this video for people suffering from suicidal OCD obsessions. Please know that you are not alone. Many other people suffer from this type of OCD obsession. Also, please seek the help of a mental health professional because OCD rarely solves itself on its own. I don't remember if I had these thoughts much during my harm obsession stage, but I think I might have had them before I was diagnosed. I can't remember if I was actually suicidal or had the suicidal thoughts. So it's hard for me to tell. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope this video inspires you to get the help you need. As always, for these types of videos, my sources will be in the description. Bye guys.